In yesterday's game, the Detroit Lions ended up dropping 31 points on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and a big part of that was the offensive line had a really, really good day. The offensive line came out, they did a great job pass protecting, they did a great job run blocking, and Panay Sewell specifically had, in my opinion, the best game of his career. The guy dominated. And we're going to look at that. Very excited for it. Let's just jump right into the tape. All right, you guys, so you got a second and 10, and I want you guys to watch this play. And I want to show you guys something that the right guard and right tackle both do that really stick out to me on this play. So you got a 11-yard pass to Williams. I want you guys to watch the right tackle. So within this one rep, you're going to see Panace will make contact with Barrett, bring the hands down, make contact with him, bring the hands down three separate times. Of course, he also does a great job timing the snap, as you guys see here. Look at him explode out of there. He's one of the first guys to kind of move, start getting out there. Just a great rep by Panay Sewell. If you guys keep an eye on the right guard, watch what Graham's going to do right out of his stands. He's going to get the right hand out there, bring the hands back down, and then he's going to snatch down Kalijah Kansi, one of the best rookie defensive tackles in this class. It's a really, really nice shot by him to be able to win this rep. Now, the interesting thing within this play that people won't point out, and this is something that not every offense lineman is able to do, is that you're going to get five guys that are truly going to be in a five-man protection. Now, the running back does stay in to make sure the linebacker doesn't blitz, but you'll see him kind of release pretty quickly. And he is not chipping. Uh, he is not double teaming or anything like that. Uh, so this is a true five-man protection. And again, people don't realize this. And a lot of teams cannot go into a true five-man protection. Oftentimes, they'll put a tight end here, and the tight end will chip, and then he'll release. The running back will chip, and then he'll release. But the lines don't do that. They trust the five guys up front. And it makes sense. When you got guys like Taylor Decker and Panay Sewell, you can definitely anchor down on the outside with the three guys handling the two on the inside. It's a great job right there by the right guard, right tackle. Let's get into the next snap. You're going to get a six-yard run here, but you're also going to get a massive block by Panay Sewell, who's going to crush the cornerback on this one. I mean, to me, this is a fantastic block by the league's best right tackle. Yes, I think Panay Sewell is the NFL's best right tackle. The guy's a monster at this point. Uh, there's a reason why this guy had generational talent coming out. It's because of plays like this. You see him get out here on this misdirection. And he gets out and he crushes the corner. That's a really, really nice rep right there. Let's get into the next snap. Check this one out. Keep an eye on the running back. Just a really nice job being able to pick up the blitz. To give the quarterback the necessary time on third and two so that he can ultimately get the pass out and pick the first down up. And this is beautiful. You see the running back get right in there, get his nose into the linebacker, and look at that. He lifts this guy right up. That's a beautiful job right there by Gibbs. Rookie running back has been a phenomenal football player. And a big part of that, as he continues over the course of his career, will be him being able to do this, especially on third downs. That way he can obviously stay on the field. It's a pretty nice job. Let's get into the next snap. Check this one out. Keep an eye on Panay Sewell. He's going to snatch down Shaquille Barrett. A really nice job right there. You can see him basically get Barrett into the ground. The quarterback only picks up a couple yards on this one, uh, but I wanted to just show you guys the right tackle doing a great job with the snatch and trap. Love how he first throws the punch, and then the second time he makes contact, he brings this guy into the ground. It's a really nice job right there. Let's go ahead and get into the next snap. All right, you guys, check this play out. You're going to get a nine-yard touchdown pass to Josh Reynolds, a great pass by Jared Goff. I mean, this is a phenomenal read, uh, just a really, really nice job. But I do want to point something out that I think sometimes gets overlooked. So the Lions are in this two by three look, and they're also in an empty with the offensive line. So this is a true five on four situation. So you got five offensive linemen against the four guys, plus any linebackers that may ultimately blitz, and the guys pick it up. You know, this right here is an underrated aspect of the Detroit Lions offense. And I think as they go and, and, and play a 49ers de defense, defensive line that's very, very good, uh, this is going to be one of the differences in that game. You know, can the Lions keep Jared Goff clean when you got guys like Nick Boza coming, guys like Chase Young? Uh, it's going to be, I think, the difference in this game. Of course, I do like Panay Sewell. I do like Taylor Decker. But you got to also give credit to Jonah Jackson, Frank Ragnar, and Graham Glasso. I think those three guys have done a phenomenal job this season being able to really help the tackles, really help the quarterback to be protected. Uh, just a really, really nice job here. And I love Jared Goff's footwork on this as well. Uh, so on this play, you do get a little bit of pressure off the left side. Do keep in mind that is normal when you got two guys going up against two here. And then you got three going up against two. You're going to expect a little bit of pressure from this left side. And look at the footwork by Goff here. 
He's going to take two steps over here to the right, reset the feet, and he's going to get the ball out. That's a really, really nice shot. Anticipates the pass, and the wide receiver obviously catches it for a touchdown. It's a great job. Let's get into the next snap. Alrighty, guys. Now, of course, on this channel, we obviously look at positive plays, but we do look at negative plays, and Jared Goff is going to get sacked on third and one here. Uh, Kalijah can see the rookie defense tackle is able to cross chop the right guard on this one. And he's going to just straight up beat this guy. I mean, this rookie right here is, in my opinion, one of the best defensive tackles in, in the NFL. Just overall defensive tackles. And I'm not saying he's a top two or three defensive tackle, but he is one of the top 12 or so guys in the NFL. And it's because of plays like this. I mean, he sets up a good right guard perfectly he's gonna hezzy to the inside he's gonna jump back to the outside he's gonna cross chop him and he's gonna beat him and get the sack you know great players make great plays and on this one Klaja Kanti obviously just ends up beating the right guard he's able to get to the quarterback obviously this was a moment in the game where it was third and one and the Lions ultimately ended up punting the football want to just point this one out not a big deal let's get into the next snap so you got a second and two 13 minutes left in the game the score is tied 17 to 17 and uh, Jamari Gibbs is going to take this 31 yards to the house. I mean, the rookie running back's a phenomenal football player. And it's actually funny because I remember back when the Lions uh, ultimately drafted Gibbs and Campbell, so many people were against this pick. And I remember talking about it on, on my social media about how I think Gibbs was a great pick. Uh, you know, he reminded me so much of Alvin Kamara. And we're starting to see those type of flashes. And I understand people are going to see some running backs. So you shouldn't have taken them as high, but. I do think when you get special playmakers, you bring them in. It doesn't matter the cost, especially on a loaded team that really could have used the the firepower. And uh, it's gotten the lines here into the conference championship game right? because of the picks that they ultimately made. Now, uh, Gibbs obviously takes this the distance, but you got to give credit here to the offensive line, specifically the best right tackle in football. If you guys keep an eye on Panay Sewell, look at as he gets out of his stance. It is a zone run to the left. So he has a reach block here on the defensive end. Uh, he's going to snatch down the defensive end. It might be a D tackle, actually, but he's going to do a great job on the reach. He's going to snatch the defensive end off, uh, and he's going to make sure that defensive end number nine also is not able to get there. So I love the fact he snatches. He sets himself up to the inside, and you see it. This block right here gives the running back the cutback lane. And, of course, Panay Sewell has the awareness to make sure that the outside linebacker here is not going to be able to jump and, and get there. So you see him right there, get the two for one. I mean, that's just smart football. That right there is just an incredible block by an incredible tackle. And the running back, of course, makes a couple people miss. And just like that, you get a 31-yard touchdown. All right, you guys, check this play. You're going to pick up 11 yards. Just a really nice job by the offensive line. Uh, one of the things that I think stick out for me with the Lions is that they love to put their guys in a tough situations, they love to be able to utilize the fact that these offensive linemen are really, really good at what they kind of do. And this play is a great example of that. If you guys look at the numbers here, the weak side is over here to the right. The strong side has the two tight ends to the left. The box is also stacked on the defensive side. And every single one of these gaps technically has a guy in it. So there's just nowhere that you should theoretically be able to run the football. But this is where the lines are a little bit different than the average team. When you run a zone run to the right, that means all of these guys have to reach a gap and try to overtake some of these guys and try to get out in front of them. So if at least one guy is able to seal off their guy or get in front of them and reach block them properly, well, theoretically, the lane is going to develop. And if you keep an eye on the left tackle here, Taylor Decker, he actually ends up getting in front of Kalaja Kansi. You can see right there, he ends up getting in front of him. And with that, it doesn't matter. If every other guy cannot properly reach, it doesn't matter because the left tackle has already done it and the lane's going to develop. And Montgomery on this one picks up 11 yards because one guy is able to reach on one of these defensive linemen. And the great thing with the Lions is even though the right side here specifically is stacked and it favors the Tampa Bay Buccaneers from a defensive side, the Lions still just run this play. And to me, that's such a unique thing that they're able to kind of do. And it's part of why this is one of the best offensive lines in the NFL. I think the Lions have arguably a top two or three O-line unit in the league. And what's crazy is they're still pretty damn young. Of course, with that being stated, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. We will be covering the Lions over the next couple of weeks. Thumbs up, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I will see you guys next time with another video.